sound of a pencil sketching. Hmm. Almost done. Just one more whisker? Dot. There. A perfect kitty cat. Pause, Mom. Where does my pencil come from? How did it get to be? Dot, dot, dot. A pencil. That's a fantastic question. Let's take a trip to a magical pencil factory to find out. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to the amazing world of pencil making. It all starts with two very important ingredients. Wood and graphite. That gray stuff in the middle of your pencil? That's graphite. It's what leaves a mark on your paper when you draw. For the outside, we need a special kind of wood, usually from a tree called a cedar tree. It's strong, but also light, making it perfect for holding. First, the big cedar logs are cut into small, flat slats, kind of like wooden rulers. Then, special machines carve little grooves into these slats. Can you guess what those grooves are for? That's right. It's a cozy little bed for the graphite. The long, thin sticks of graphite, which we call the lead, are carefully placed into these grooves. Next, another wooden slat, also with grooves, is coated with a special, strong glue. It's then placed right on top of the first one, sandwiching the graphite leads safely in the middle. Think of it like making a graphite sandwich. A wood and graphite sandwich. These long sandwiches are then pressed together really tightly and left to dry, so the glue holds everything together perfectly. Once the glue is dry, the real magic happens. The wooden sandwiches are fed into another super cool machine that cuts them into individual pencils. They might look a bit plain at first, but we're about to give them a makeover. The pencils are then smoothed and painted in all sorts of bright and fun colors. Reds, blues, yellows, greens, even sparkly ones. Which color is your favorite? After painting, they get sent to the sharpening station. A machine gives each pencil a perfectly sharp point, ready for you to write your name or draw a masterpiece. But wait, we're forgetting one tiny but very important part. What if you make a mistake? No problem. A little metal band called a ferrule is attached to the end and a bouncy rubber eraser is popped right on top. And just like that, from a tall tree and a piece of graphite, we have a brand new pencil ready for all your amazing ideas, drawings, and stories. So next time you pick up a pencil, you'll know the incredible journey it took to get to your hand. What? From a tree all the way to my drawing book. That's amazing. Now I can finish my kitty cat. Isn't science the coolest? If you had fun learning with us, don't forget to hit that like button.